Today, Saturday, February 25th, 2023, Nigerians will decide the next president of the nation. I think we're prepared for the election. The civil society has been at home. We've requested so much. Actually, there have been a lot in terms of looking at some of the subjects and tackling it from that angle. Okay. Actually, it is uh, an anti poverty agency that uh, believes that poverty can be eradicated and uh, with the right leadership in place, with the right government in place, it's easy for the country to be directed, to be to work with citizens and other stakeholders and to also ensure a just and equitable society. Proudly, ActionAid Nigeria is an accredited observer for the 2023 general elections, having also observed in previous elections, including the Osho and the Kitty State elections in 2022. Action in Nigeria, through her Enlogic project, has trained 700 volunteer observers across FCT, Lagos, Enugu, Kano, Rivers, Jigawa, Kaduna, Akwaibom, Cross River, Niger, Delta, Ikiti, Kwara, Gombe, Taraba, and Yobe on electoral processes and election observance using the iObserver application. 522 of these observers have been deployed to various polling centers. I'm an election observer trained by Action Aid Nigeria. I'll be observing at Alimoshon Ward 11 at Adas and only Unit 048. So, I, the training has been a very uh, interesting, comprehensive one where we've been trained on what to do, your responsibility as an observer, what you have to report, what you have to do, or what not to do. Most interesting part of it has been the election observation app. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, ActionAid launched an application, the iObserver, to support the process of election observers. This application enables observers to provide real time information, such as arrival of officials and materials, polling unit setup, accreditation and voting, disruptions, vote buying, and other logistic matters. To action aid technical room. My name is Charles Pitt. I'm the digital technology coordinator for Action Aid Nigeria. The app has been developed to overcome some of the challenges and to speed up some of our operations. The app has been built that can work on mobile and that can report instant problems. The goal of action in this is clearly that of ensuring that the voice is heard. And what they have decided stands. I think we're happy that uh, we have entire agency collaborations. The movement, all of these movements, we believe that Nigeria has a capacity to be able to detect. Um, we also call for caution that we allow people, uh, we have been assured that they are able to detect to make sure that people allow their priorities. So we don't take care of them. Now we are set for Nigeria Decide 2023. Who will be Nigeria's next democratically elected president?